Hi guys. I'm let a few of you guys get on here. Ooh. I'm trying to dry my hair. Hi. I just wanted to say hello. I know that I haven't really checked in with you guys much, but I'm pretty preoccupied uh, due to obvious reasons. Being a mom uh, is a lot of work, but it's super awesome. So, um, hi, ooh, Haley's on here. Hee hee. Um, I was actually just on your live, and it made me want to go live. So, <laughs> I didn't get to see you much, though. Um, mom life has been really great. I look really tired, but. I guess that's pretty typical. Um, it's been really amazing, honestly. Like, I couldn't have imagined that it was going to be so wonderful. And um, I'm really lucky. I have such an easy baby. He sleeps super soundly. And pretty much through, like, any noise or anything like that. So I don't have to worry too much about being quiet. Um, which I'm not going to show him, but he's right here. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's been really awesome. Really, really, really awesome. So, just wanted to, again, I'm just checking in. Oh my gosh, sorry, I know I'm like stroking my hair so much. It's just like, it's halfway wet, halfway dry, and I'm trying to make sure it actually like dries. Anyway, uh, I don't know if, you know, nursing bras are appropriate for Instagram, but here we go. <laughs> They're pretty awesome, not gonna lie. I don't know if I'll ever go back to like regular bras. Um, am I going to get a new tattoo? I am thinking about getting a, um, tattoo from, like, my son, but I haven't really decided exactly what I want that to be yet, so I don't know. Um, Richie C59, hi, you're one of my favorite people on here. And yes, it's, you know, Mama Canella now, not the same <laughs> as I was before. Um, I mean, I'm still the same person, but I honestly feel like totally different at the same time, which is really awesome. I am so tired looking. This is kind of embarrassing, but you know, I don't have the patience or the time or care at all to put on makeup right now. So this is what you're getting. A very raw version of myself. <laughs> um back to work please well I can't literally have sex for like another four weeks so there's only so much I can do but I have my premium snapchat which all of them are seeing the big new titties now which are really fun I love them for like a couple days it literally looked like I had just got implants it was ridiculous but I love it uh and it did make me kind of consider like oh what would it be like if I did have implants? This is what they would look like. But I like the way that they naturally look anyway. Mama Canella sounds awesome, just saying. <laughs> Thanks. Hold on. Oh, for some weird reason. When, what your parents say about their grandkid? Um, my dad was super excited. He's definitely already like calling himself grandpa, which I think is really cute. And, um, they haven't been able to meet him yet, though, because they li don't live near me. But ironically, my grandma, so his great-grandma, came and helped for, like, the first week. Which was so awesome. Definitely needed her, and it was really great. Um, and she was really cute and loved him, of course. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Thank you, Jayliss1987. You're one of my Snapchat members. I appreciate that. Glad you guys like the raw part of me. <sighs> Sorry, I must be kind of a little bit behind on the ca uh, comments. But anyway, so, yeah. I just kind of felt like you um, haven't been, like, talking to you guys much. I used to be super active. I'm just, you know, <sighs> a little preoccupied and busy. But I'm getting into the swing of things. Um, and now I'm not, like, so sleep-deprived because I figured out a little bit better schedule, and, um, he's sleeping not between, oh, sorry, he is sleeping between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m., which used to be when he was awake, so it's definitely helped a lot, a lot, a lot to not have that. Um, and my voice seems so raspy right now, but... <laughs> 
Um, I swear I don't normally sound like this. So, okay, my hair is like bothering me. Ah, oh, much better. Okay, we can do that. Mm, that's super inaccurate. A lot of porn stars do have a family. Actually, a lot of porn stars this year got pregnant, if you didn't notice. I, at least the ones that I've seen, it was like myself, Asa Akira, um, Carly Gray. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yes. Yes, she's pregnant. And then, um, Mick Blue's wife. I don't know how to say her name, but it's like Anika Albright or something like that. Or Annika Albright. And there's a lot of people that have, you know, a personal life but still do porn. So, just saying that's not an accurate statement at all. But yeah, look how much bigger they are. I'm not flat chested anymore. <laughs> um, anyway. It's pretty awesome. And this is like a kind of restrictive sports bra and they still look big. I love it. I'm not going to lie. I honestly, I was a little bit nervous about what my like post baby body would look like. And, um, I'm definitely like not anymore because I've already snapped back super quick and my tits look great and my ass looks great and my stomach is almost already flat. So it's been pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, Kelsey Monroe. Totally forgot about that. Uh, Remy LaCroix, she had her kids a little bit ago. But, yeah, there's, like, a whole bunch of people that got pregnant within, like, the last year. Um, I mean, Megan Rain had, like, a kid a year ago or something like that. So, just saying, like, it, yeah, we have lives, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, all of my premium Snapchat members. You guys are so awesome for commenting on here. I love Dominic Nani. I think that's the right way to say your name. And then Galask2. G-A-L-L-A-S-K-2. Anyway, but thank you guys for being the premium Snapchat members. And thank you guys for the positive review. Um, obviously, I haven't been posting anything that's like with a pussy yet. Because it's not allowed to be in doing anything with it yet but soon soon but you guys have obviously seen these which i'm just so happy about so 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 happy about stop roasting me well you i don't even know what that means i don't know sorry i just kind of feel like that like one of my eyelashes is like poking in my eye that's why i kept doing that um, yes, I would say, like, for a couple days there, I did lose sleep. Um, honestly, it wasn't actually because of him. I got used to, like, being up at night and then kind of sleeping in the day with him. But one day I woke up, and it was actually the day we were going to take him to the doctor for the first time. And we were going to take my car. But all of a sudden, my tire was flat. And that was super inconvenient. And so we had to, like, switch cars in, um, really quick, which was shitty. But then um, I had to take my car into Lexus, get the tire switched out and do all that. So to the time that I would have been asleep, I was doing like other things I had to do. And then he woke up and then I just had to be up. And so I was really tired, but it was only one day. Other than that, I've actually been sleeping really good. Um, no, I don't smoke anymore. I do miss it sometimes, but at the same time, like, it's also kind of nice not smoking because I'm not nearly as tired um, in the day, which is funny because people would think that the baby is making me tired, but I'm not nearly as tired and I'm more motivated and less lazy to like go downstairs and like get food and do laundry and do all this different stuff. So it does make you a little lazy. I will say that I still like, I'm super a big advocate for smoking marijuana. I think it's great, but it's been nice having a break, and I'm actually really looking forward to um, the first time I do smoke again, which will probably be in like a year, but the first time I do smoke again and how fucking high I'm going to be, like my friend says, I'm going to be higher than a draft's pussy, <laughs> but seriously, like, it's going to be hilarious. Okay, I'm a little behind on the comments again, and so yeah, that answered the question. I haven't smoked since delivery. Um, I'm, okay, so my Twitter followers know that I've been complaining about my boyfriend, which I feel a little bit bad about because I'm just putting him on mad blast, but I, like, was really upset for a couple days and needed to just vent, 
and get some like general opinion and advice and I did and um honestly like for me I'm not really willing to like break up with him at least now unless something really 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 gets bad because he is the father of my son and for me like when I grew up without my parents together it was really hard and I just don't want that for him and plus there's a lot of really good qualities about my boyfriend as well it's just that like I obviously have a really high sex drive and uh, it's kind of hard for people to accommodate that, which isn't exclusive to him. Every single boyfriend I've ever had, which I've only really had like th yeah, three other like serious relationships and all of them couldn't like keep up with the amount of sex that I wanted either. So it's not exclusively just his problem. It's kind of more of a personal problem for me, which is obviously why I really enjoy doing porn because there was plenty of sex for me to have. So I'm more, it, like it's kind of a mutual thing that we need to work on, not just blaming him even though I definitely, you know, like to just blame and complain. Uh, I'm definitely not 36 around. I'm still like 32, but I'm probably like a 32 D or double D. Um, I just haven't been wearing like regular bras, so I have no idea. This is like a small and I'm like bursting out the sides, so it's a little funny. Um, thank you Dory Taff for again another, um, review on my Snapchat. I appreciate you being a Snapchat member. Tolerance break. Yeah, this is a really big tolerance break. Hold on. I'm just going through the comments. Some of them are just random. Thank you on the congratulations. But anyway, okay, now I'm up to date. Thank you guys. You guys are being really sweet. You guys are a very, very nice crowd right now, which is not always the case, so I really do appreciate everyone that's on my live right now. But yeah, um, hmm, just trying to think. Any other questions? I feel like I've kind of updated a lot. Um, random, so, like, the TV show that I'm currently watching a lot <laughs> is 30 Rock. I've already actually seen it, but now I'm watching it again, and it's super funny. Um, so... If you haven't seen it, you should see it. And also, Alec Baldwin is so fucking sexy. Like, he can be daddy any day. Just saying. And he has the best hair ever. Just like, wow. But yeah. Um, I'm already scheduling things with fans in, like, March and after when I'm, like, available to, you know, have sex again. So, I just can't do anything right now other than... Give my boyfriend, like, random blowjobs, so, which is fun, actually really fun, but I can't do anything by myself right now. I didn't see the fire documentary on Netflix, I saw the one that was on Hulu, I think there's two of them, um, and it was really interesting, because I didn't even realize that it happened, and, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of like have an appreciation for how smart that guy is but at the same time he's like a total sociopath I forget his name but the like main guy that like you know started it or whatever and um just yeah it was such a clusterfuck it was a very interesting documentary though you understand you can't do anything mom life happy for you oh thank you um yeah I love being a mom I definitely used to never like have a plan of being a mom or having kids or anything like that and then life decided to change that for me and I'm really glad that it did it's really fun um and it's just like I all the cliche things that moms typically say it's so worth it it's really rewarding blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> like it is all those things um but it's more just like really sweet to see that some little person is like you and a part of you and like, they totally rely on you and need you, and the fact that there's times where he's super fussy, and then all of a sudden I hold him, and he's not, just, like, melts my heart, and, like, that that's, you know, all he wants is to be held by me. How cute! Okay. 
Hulu has done better, but Netflix is more in depth. Okay, so there is one on each platform. I couldn't really keep track and pay attention. I've been watching a lot more Hulu than Netflix lately, so, um, yeah. I probably will watch the one on Netflix, but I kind of just like the one on Hulu. It was pretty straightforward. Uh, but... Did the one on Hulu say that some of the people that were, like, advertising for the Fire Festival actually had something to do with the documentaries? Like, isn't that a little funny? A lot of questions about sleeping. You guys are super funny. I already kind of, like, mentioned it a lot. Sorry, I'm, like, having terrible, like, bone-holding skills right now. Um, I've already mentioned it a lot. I've actually been sleeping pretty decently. Like, I just have to sleep during the day. <laughs> and get used to it and he's getting a little bit better on the sleep schedule already where again he's not awake between like 1 a.m and 4 a.m because that was the only time i was a little bit hard yes richie c59 um i had a little talk with him about that it didn't go well at first i thought um but then today he didn't wake up and jerk off and watch porn so it must have worked, um, which it made me nicer. So I definitely, when I'm like cranky, I can be very standoffish and that's not necessarily like the best way to handle things. So even though I complain a lot about my boyfriend sometimes, cause a lot of people do that, I do recognize like my own side of the street is not completely clean and there's things that I need to work on too. So like I acknowledge that it takes two to tango for both a positive or a negative relationship. <laughs> You're actually watching the fire uh, documentary. That's pretty fucking hilarious. Um, it's so funny to see MILF. Like, I just never thought that was going to be me. But yeah. <laughs> That's happening. Um, yeah, my porn BJs are definitely different than my boyfriend's BJs. Or, wait. The ones that I get my boyfriend. <laughs> um, because the ones in porn... Well, okay, a couple of reasons. So when you're, like, filming something for a porno, your biggest priority is actually how it looks for the camera and not necessarily how it actually feels. So there's some times where, like, especially because I have to be so low in comparatively so you guys can see my face and see what's going on and stuff like that. It doesn't allow me to like do as much things, especially like, yes, I still deep throat, but just like not as effectively. Um, and it's all more about like engage, like, uh, eye contact. But with my boyfriend, there's also a little extra motivation because, you know, I like love him and everything. And, um, I always want to prove to him like, Hey, the reason why you're not going to someone else and you're never going to leave me is because no one can fucking suck your dick the way I do. Which pretty much every time that I am blowing him, he's like constantly saying like no one else can touch my dick because you're uh, the best at sucking it. <laughs> which just makes me more motivated to do a better blowjob. Um, but then I'm like doing a lot more deep throating and stuff like that because again, I'm not worried about like a camera or camera angles. I'm just worried about exactly how it feels. So, um they're different and depending on what you enjoy like the visual specifically or more of the feeling obviously one is better than the other mm. damn uh well you know sorry i'm responding to richie c59 um the thing is is that some girls really don't enjoy giving blowjobs and some girls really do um just kind of like some girls really enjoy sex or overly enjoy sex and it's a problem in their relationship or they don't like sex and it's a problem in their relationship um i'm one of those people who really just enjoy giving blowjobs because for me like i get sexual satisfaction to like know that that person is getting off and feeling good and that i have something to do with it like my own orgasm is really not like the biggest priority for me so for me like to give my man a blood job is like pretty much equally satisfying as having sex like even though I like having sex too a lot um it's like an equivalent thing for me so everyone's different and like I said like that was, seems like the dream but I like it so much that it actually ends up being a like problem in all of my relationships not even just this one so there's gotta 
be compatibility there. What do I watch on Hulu? Right now, which I already answered earlier, but right now I'm watching 30 Rock because um, it's really funny. <laughs> I really enjoy sitcoms in general. Like I'm a sitcom watcher for sure. I actually just finished up watching Third Rock from the Sun, which is super funny sitcom from the 90s if you guys haven't seen it or watched it, but it's great. Um, yes, I see Gabriella. I cannot pronounce the rest of your username. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yes, I am breastfeeding, which is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, cause some people just like made it up to be like a very complicated thing. It's not complicated at all. Um, and I much prefer like breastfeeding. I only like tried a bottle feed with like my breast milk once with him and I just really didn't like it. Like it wasn't the same and it's like kind of just cute to like see him like getting all of his nourishment and being bigger and stronger because of what I provide him. Like, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Um... No, I am not going to be showing any photos or videos of my baby publicly. Um, I know that a lot of you guys are curious and you do want to see and a part of me feels kind of guilty. But at the same time, like I'm the one who chose to put myself on a public forum and like be a part of social media. He's an infant and he cannot make that decision himself. And I don't feel like that's really fair to just expose him to that kind of stuff. And then to be real, like 95% of my followers are super sweet and super supportive and great. But at the same time, like there's a lot of really mean, hateful things that are said on a lot of my pictures and just commented back and stuff like that because of me having to do with the adult industry. And again, like, I just, I'm not willing to expose my child to, like, that level of negativity and it's just not really, like, fair to him. So, unfortunately, I know a lot of you guys are really curious a few of my fans that are like really great fans that I keep seeing like pop up on comments and like talk to me a few times and stuff like that. I've sent like pictures too because it's a little different, but I'm just not going to post it publicly because he's so special and innocent and I would love to keep it that way. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you for all the congratulations, by the way. There's so many of them. Thank you. But yes, my blowjobs are better technically uh, in real life than they are on camera because the goal is, again, like just purely to get that person off rather than try and make it look good. Especially since like a lot of times like for video, blowjob isn't the finish that they want. So like I have to slow down a lot. I have to not try and get them off. I have to be a little bit more playful. So, um... Uh, it's not like it's a bad thing though, like I like that too, but personal ones are a little better. Um, I don't know about whether or not like I'll get married. It's not necessarily a super big goal for me because I know that like me and my boyfriend are going to be together regardless if we're married or not. And I kind of like the whole like Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell thing. Um, but at the same time, like he's also just never asked. <laughs> so if he ha does ask, I'm not going to say no, because that's not necessarily like the truth of it either. Um, so it might be something in my future. It might not be. I'm not really worried about it either way though. Any more kids? Um, the thing is, is that I definitely, when I was like pregnant with him was like, okay, no more babies. Like, no, 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 no. But I'm open to it, like, now. I'm not planning on it. Um, and I definitely want to, like, have at least, like, a year, maybe two go by before I even consider, like, getting pregnant again. Just because it's, like, I want to actually know what the swing of things is like and, like, everything like that. Oh, he had a little coo. Um, but, yeah. So, maybe... Um, I'm sure you didn't expect me to get pregnant. I didn't expect myself either. So 
I want to actually get around to watching Sopranos as well. I've never watched it. Um, I used to watch porn a whole bunch before I got into porn, but then now, like, porn's kind of ruined for me in a little bit because I either know the people, which makes it kind of uncomfortable, or, like, I'm much more focused on the production and, like, how they're performing rather than, like, me getting off to it. So, it's just been kind of ruined for me. If I do ever watch it, I'm typically watching my own because it's, like, me remembering a time that, like, I enjoyed. Um... So, I definitely used to watch it a whole bunch, though, when I was not in porn before, because, I, like, all the time. Like, even at work, I'd be on, like, Tumblr, back when Tumblr had it, and just, like, scrolling through all these gifts. So. Parks and Rec, I definitely prefer. I don't really watch The Office, I never have, but I think I'm gonna go and watch it now, because everyone's always talked about it so much. Ooh, sorry for yawning. I told, I said I wasn't tired, but I must be lying. Um, I haven't come across, or I haven't started watching that Netflix show, You. I saw a lot of people watch it, though, so I'm definitely going to give it a, a go around after I'm done with 30 Rock. Or, yeah, 30 Rock. Um, I just, like, kind of marathon TV shows, and I don't bounce back and forth, so. You don't need to put him in that position. I don't really know exactly what that's in response to. It must have been something I said a while ago. What made you describe? Uh, I've already like talked about what made me get into the adult industry many, many times. But I was um, 20 years old. I was inspired by Janice Griffith. I liked hearing her story because I was watching all of her videos before. And then eventually I kind of realized that it was something that I wanted to participate in. And it was something that I could capitalize a lot off of. And um, yeah, it's been really great. <laughs> that sounded really, like, monotone, like, oh, it's been really great. It has been really great. <laughs> I've just, like, answered it so many times. Sorry. The baby is asleep. My, I'm actually recovering, like, way, way faster than people, like, said I would or that, like, I should be recovering. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Put my hair on this side. Which I'm really thankful for. Um, especially since people said, like, having a C-section makes you, um recover a lot slower but I've been feeling really great it was pretty much only like a little over a week and I felt like back to normal completely um and I didn't even have to like take any pain medication after like the fourth day or anything like that every once in a while I'll just take like an ibuprofen but that's mostly just because like my back hurts because I'm not used to having the weight of like extra big titties but it doesn't have anything to do with like the pregnant or the birth stuff so I've been really really blessed I had a really easy pregnancy I had a really easy labor and delivery kind of I didn't technically like I don't know c-section was super easy for me I loved it I didn't plan on getting one, but it was great that I did, and now, in the future, like, if I do have another kid, I'll probably just schedule a C-section, because it does not look fun the other way around, and it was, like, a breeze, just to be, like, I didn't even realize how fast it was gonna be, either, like, I was literally talking about Chipotle with my boyfriend, like, oh my god, I cannot wait to have Chipotle, and all of a sudden, we hear, wah, and I'm like, oh, fuck, the baby's out already, I didn't even know. Uh, you can Google my name and you'll see that I've obviously done porn. I've also just talked about how I did porn a lot. I would not consider myself a model. If you bought something for off my wish list for the baby, um, let me know what it was. I have received, like, most things. But sometimes, even though, like, you might have written a note for me and, like, a thank you thing, Amazon's not the most consistent and sometimes they don't put it in the package. So just, like, let me know if you did. I'm definitely not mentioning um, my baby's name. He's just Baby Canella. That's his name for you guys. I've directed a lot of porn scenes because I've directed my own. Um, now that I've done like quite a bit of that and have also done a lot more like mainstream porn shoots, I would definitely be better at directing my future ones. So. Mm. Yes, I really do watch the dick pics and stuff on Snapchat. I just, like, 
there's sometimes where it's like a really big turn on because I'm like, oh, look what I'm doing to everyone. And then there's sometimes where I'm just like trying to like get through my messages and I just like see them, but it doesn't mean I don't appreciate them. Okay, I must be really behind all the comments because you guys, I'm like reading things that are in response to what I said like a little bit ago. Um, thank you, that's Klein. Uh, I'm glad you've had a crush on me for years. That's really cute. I actually am healing really well from the C-section that um, I don't even see that there's going to be a scar at all. So I'm really, really thankful about that. Plus, it wasn't like in a total emergency mode. Like they were able to like get him back to a like level where they could like take their time for the C-section instead of having to like do it really quickly. So that's really good. Um, and I'm bouncing back, like, super, super quick. I am about four minutes behind. Okay, let's skip through. Your hair is beautiful and gorgeous. Oh, thank you. This is just me getting out of the shower and it just being brushed. I've just been really, obviously, like, not prioritizing doing my hair or makeup. Um, because I have a lot of other things to be taken care of instead, so. I really appreciate it. And that is not true. Once you have a C-section, you can still do it naturally. I know somebody who had their first baby as a C-section, and then their second and third baby, they pushed out naturally. So, that is not the case. You absolutely can. Um, each pregnancy and each baby is different. I just now, knowing how easy it was to do the C-section, and probably will only do that in the future because it. I love that my vagina is still intact and still looks good and like everything was so fast. I also didn't experience a single contraction pain, which is really weird because they told me I was having contractions, but I didn't feel them, so maybe I just have a ridiculously high pain tolerance. Who knows? Thank you again. For all the congratulations. Yeah. Again, like, C-sections are just so fast. Like, it was such an awesome experience. Like, I was so terrified of childbirth. And with that, like, it was just so easy. The only part that was a little bit scary um, was that, like, they were trying to induce me for me to go into natural labor. And, like, he wasn't responding very well to that. Like, his heart rate dropped twice um, during the two different induction times and so that made me really scared because all of a sudden like four or five nurses comes in the doctor comes in and they're all doing all these like emergency like things to like get his heart rate back up and so the second time that happened they were like okay we have to call it like you have to go into a c-section because he's just not coming out this way so I'm glad it did though because it was like I was nervous at first I was like laying on the operation table I'm like holy fuck I'm about to get cut the fuck open and I've never had surgery before and I've never really been under like an anesthetic before in that capacity so I, I thought you wouldn't be able to feel anything at all which is just not the case like you feel the pressure still so I got really nervous just been like crap am I gonna like feel this like am I supposed to feel the pressure like this is really weird and then, like I said, like, I was just kind of trying to distract myself a little bit. And I, like, turned to my boyfriend. I was like, you know what? I'm just so excited that I can have Chipotle after this. And um, even though they didn't let me eat for, like, a few more hours, it was terrible. But anyway, uh, I, like, turned to him and I was like, oh, my God, I can't wait to have Chipotle. And then all of a sudden, we are when I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The baby's out, like, right now. Like, I thought this would be, like, a much slower process, but definitely not. Um. So, I had a great experience with that, just saying. Uh, even though, like, not everyone's, like, super down for this. <sighs> We're having a C-section. Right. Yeah. Honestly, it was so great. Mm, okay. Well, I'm obviously yawning a lot. I'm getting a little tired. He's asleep, so it's kind of time for me to take a nap so that way I could be awake and alert. But I really enjoyed talking to you guys and just catching up and, um, like, updating you guys on everything. So, 
I hope you guys have a fantastic day and yeah. Thank you again for all the congratulations. I appreciate it.